blow a witness. I'm gonna take a seat. All right, so this is the, can you get the worry work? This is the glass door blind. And uh, I got this from Lowe's. I'm sure you can get it at your local hardware store, Home Depot, etc. Um, and so I was being ghetto and just covering this up with, uh, I left it uncovered and then I covered it up with like a sheet. I um, tried like blinds in here and I just didn't like the way it looked. It um, came out and you could easily brush up against it. And I just didn't think it looked as flattering as I like it to. So I went out and I bought this. I think it's about, I think I spent about 150 bucks. And uh, I finally worked up the courage to like spend the money. I'm super cheap. Um, the curtains that I bought, I think they're around $40, $50. Uh, I was kind of upset when I threw them away, but it just, it didn't look right. I didn't like the way it looked. Anywho, so here I am, I bought this, and I'm going to walk you through how to install it for those of you that, you know, don't like the read instructions. I know I don't, I just kind of like to figure things out. Anyway, so getting started, um, what you do is you unpack everything. And, oh, so you want to, um, once you take it out of the box, you want to place it on the door's frame to make sure it fits and that it's going to be snug. That way you know that you have the right size before you completely install it. So the second step is to pull, um, on your frame, you should have like these little, um, uh, what do you call it? Screw plugs. And you'll take them out. And the way I took mine out was, I got a screw. I got a screw and just an itty bitty uh, drill. Like it's probably eight bolts. Like it's not even powerful at all. Like, well, it's not as powerful as, you know, a regular drill. Um, so what I did is I stuck this in here and you'll see it clearly um, just to get these little little rubber things out you can try and pull them out i had a hard time and it was just taking too long i tried with the flathead screwdriver i tried with different uh things on here uh different tips and it just wasn't coming off as quickly and it annoyed me uh what else all right so after that uh, so you'll lo loosen up the screws down here and you're supposed to install a spacer. Basically it's to give you space between here and the, and the glass. So between your door and this actual um, panel, uh, we have the little spacers. You can put them on the right and left side of uh, this door. And it says to install it anywhere from like 11 and a half inches up to 11 and a half inches from the bottom. So that would probably be like, this is probably eight by 11. So probably here or lower, you would install those. I didn't, um, I took it out actually, just because it wasn't, it wouldn't go flush against the door in the glass panel. So I didn't do that. I skipped that step. Um, and then you will do the top part. You'll, uh, there's these left and right brackets. I'm gonna put it up here. These two, you'll see that in your package. And what you do is you do the same thing. You'll take the rubber, rubber portions out of the top. And then once you do that, you'll get to the actual screw and you'll loosen it up here, right here at the top. I had like three little, I'm gonna call them eyelets because I don't know what else to call them, but I had three of them. And so I loosened all three and you loosen it in order to be able to put the bracket 
down in between the door and this panel. And that's what kind of holds it up in there. Next, you will you make sure it's flush with the door. And then you'll tighten the screws back. So after you install the bracket, you'll tighten the screw back, um, tighten all three screws. Then you'll be ready to prepare to add on the blind. And what I did, it says to clean it. There's a little red thing here that I guess keeps the blinds from opening and shutting during storage and during install. So you'll take that out. You'll want to clean this, at least the inside of it. Um, I have already dirtied up the outside with my greasy forehead. Anywho, um, you'll clean your actual door glass. Um, and yeah, clean it, remove the stickers, and you'll place it on there. Place it on there snugly. Make sure, like, after you place it on here, that it does not move. Like, yeah. And <clears throat> also, um, you'll come down here and make sure it does the same thing. But there's these little uh, little tips down here. Basically, you can open and shut them. I'll show you exactly what it looks like. So, these right here. And I'm pointing to it right here. So, um, you'll open them. And you'll want to put this as flush as you can. Push it as flush as you can towards the door. And this should grab uh, as you pull it back in. It should grab in, uh, between the glass and this door. So you'll push it out and push it back in. I'm not gonna do that right now because I had a hard time getting it in between the glass. Um, and that should secure it down. I'm gonna show you um, what I tried to use and what actually worked. Give me a moment. All right, so at first, I had a hard time getting this to close in here. So <laughs> I tried, uh, what did I try first? I tried a hammer, and then I noticed, like, okay, I'm scratching up a little bit, and it's not as effective. Then I went ahead, and I got this bad boy. And what I did was hold it, doop, 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 tap it maybe five times, and it went in there finally. Did the same thing on the other side. Both of them were really, really hard for me to get it uh, grooved in there. And after that, you should do another test to make sure it doesn't move or wiggle. One thing I did, I forgot, or um, it didn't come with it, but it's supposed to have like a little um, strip here, like it does on this side. And I assume, that this is here in order for this to go up and down, which moves that. Hope I'm, hope I'm doing it where you can see it. But yeah, and on this side, you have this right here, and just a little bit of movement causes this to open and close. So yeah. That's how you install the glass door blind. <laughs> um, let me know if you run into trouble, if you need any help doing it, something else. I'm, I'm always doing something around my house. I love to do home projects. That's my thing. I'm retired. And so I'm retired, but I'm also a realtor and I invest. But for the most part, um, this is my passion. I love doing home projects. And you can see behind me, I got the Levelor, uh, was it a shade? I um, also bought that from Lowe's and I installed it myself. And that was the easiest, like 20 minutes of my life. And it cost, um, it made for a great, a great, uh, window window shade 
Oh, let me take this off here. So yeah, let me turn on lights so you can see. It's really nice. Yeah, you can see those uh little clips at the top, but I think it's great. So I have, uh, I just moved in here like a few months ago, but, and I have uh, some curtains that are back ordered right there. Um, but I do have this gold. I just thought that was interesting. I got this gold uh, curtain rod from CB2 if anybody wants to bite my style. But yeah, so I got some beautiful curtains that were really expensive and they'll be arriving, I think in July. Anywho, um, yeah, that's it. Take care. Love you. Bye.